We'll talk more about that later, but it is, a, it is one of the historic buildings in the nation's capital. So the Johnnies come off a tough loss at Seton Hall the other night on Friday night in Newark. And they were playing together. It wasn't that they were making every single shot. It's just they were playing very, very good basketball. And they're going to have to do that for 40 minutes. They did it against Virgi West Virginia as well. That, that's saying something. Yep. <laughs> and yep. every coach out there has to respect that. Inside to Wahab, who takes the short jumper and scores. They, they are great. Players at this level think they're great. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Here's every, Wahab. Every player at this level thinks they're playing in the NBA. And... Wahab the rebound, looking to go up. Harris the jumper, and he hits again. Harris is there for the rebound. Just not a good shot. You're inside the three-point line. You can get that long two anytime you want. A like pretty left-handed shot. Hit some big shots for this team. Rebound to Isaiah Moore, who got the start again, and a nice look inside to Alexander. Getting back defensively. Still, Mike Anderson trying to implement his system. It takes a few years. That should be goaltending, and it is. Baseline pass. Alexander gathers it off the glass and gets it to drop. They can't hit the short layup. Posh has to go up strong and try to finish that. Blair, his runner, beautiful shot. Back the other way, and transition defense not there for the Hoyas. And just like you say, you just don't want to see that happen to anybody. Pickett on the turnaround. He can shoot lights out. Fouls a game. He's got to be careful of how much and how long he plays Wahab. So Wahab comes out, and Timothy Egoefe checks in. In the corner, he's averaging seven points a game. And there's that pressure, the steal by St. John's, and the basket. The problem they have. Harris penetrates, lays it up and in. I mean, that's not a freshman move, Donnie. That knows where guys are defensively. Vision is terrific. Alexander tries, and he answers. Long three off the glass and in going over Friday night. St. John's with the lead, looking to add to it, and they do. Bile in the paint, puts it up and in. Pretty move. Double team, a lot of contact. And now they've got some numbers. The floater. Mm. How about that shot? It's Donnie Marshall. Great to have you with us on FS1. Blair drives into the corner for the long jumper. Good. A yeah. <laughs> couple of four mics, and that's it. All access, and they don't even they don't even realize that. Inside of his own miss and the rebound for Isaiah Moore. Bile drives. Good follow by Wahab, who is out with back spasms. Carey's jumper is good. He can fish. He's picking his spots. That one's a little short. Rebound inside, and Wahab puts it in. Have been opportunity baskets. They haven't come in, in their offensive sets. Pretty play on the drive by Donald Carey. Williams on a fading shot. Tough shot from Greg Williams, Jr. Again, this one's off the side of the rim, and Dunn has it. Nice pass off the glass. Score the field goal. It's a one on the three-point play. Carey facing pressure. Harris on a floater. I'll tell you what, savvy than a freshman. One thing I will say that's different from this year's Georgetown team versus the last two or three is they're always in attack mode. Blair trying to get himself free. Kicks it out. Beautifully done. Well, this is where you have to get them. But you just can't throw the ball away. Again, their spacing is not great. Wow. alley -oop and a beauty in the finish. Man, they wreak havoc. A lot like uh, VCU used to do.
with Shaka Smart. Again, it's too, that pass is too late. Blair is fortunate in that, but just the uh, last couple of plays, Javon Blair has not really been himself. Boy, a great oh, cut man. to the basket again with it over. Carey for Pickett, who goes inside and a big slam. Pretty play. Johns has opened up a five point advantage. This is the biggest lead they've had in this game. Alexander inside. Lays it up and in. Kevin. And you're right. The struggles again in this second half are very similar to Villanova. Wow. Carey, Pickett. They go to Wahab in the paint. Nice fake. Nicely done. Had a tougher angle and it goes over the backboard. Oh boy. boy. Wow. Boy is fortunate to get that back. Pass for Wahab. Had a problem with it. Now they go for the long deep. Offensive foul with the chicken wing stuck out. Comes back, knocks down a three. Erlington knocks one down. Gets Judy A. Bio back in. Step back jumper by Harris. Mm -hmm. Wow. That kid's impressive. Down to five. Bio lost it. Lucky he wasn't called for a foul. Done the other way. Lays it up and in. Now he drives. Got to make a good decision here. To Berger for his long jumper. Got it. Nothing but net from T.J. Berger. Oh. Yeah, and you got to manage the ball better, too, because St. John's has been all over and forcing turnovers. And you got to calm down just a little bit if you can. That's a nice shot. They couldn't win the game, but he played well. Here's Pyle spinning, partially blocked, and he gets the kind roll. Spins, knocked away. And Harris is there for the steal. He's going to go up strong, lay it in, and score the field goal. That kid is a freshman playing like a veteran. Wow. Both squads have a couple timeouts remaining. Follow is there, and there he is again. It's hard blocker. If they miss it, I got an easy putback. When you talk about a guy who's been attacking the rim, Isaiah Moore has been sensational. Blair throws one up about Johnny's. Alexander over the timeline. Stops for his jumper. Beautifully done. He had five of them in the first half. Carey drives. Baseline. Cut off. Now Pickett gets an open look and Boy. drills it. Open when you, you've done a great job of stifling him all night long. Nearly taken away by Blair. Here's Moore on the 15-footer. Mm. Good. Look at that. Going away from 24 feet. There he is again attacking the glass and Moore with another slam. And you said it. You know, you have a mass exodus. The win 15 games is saying something. That was Champagny that got a piece of that one. The other way. And score it. Pretty that, play by Williams. And that's a look right. I think that's, you know. A great pass by Alexander and a terrific cut underneath. I just always feel that late in games, if you, you, you've heard the refs blow the whistle a few times, keep going to the rim because for some reason, the three-point shot for them didn't really matter much when Georgetown was shooting lights out. Well, they're learning, right? So you got to tell your, your young guys, like Posh Alex, to the ball without fouling. Boy. And a steal. Pick it for the long jumper. Just missed. Rebound to Carey. Puts it up and in. Point nine seconds to take that ball out of bounds. Just relax. Through this evening's contest. Gets one of two. Yeah. It really was. And as a, as a, as a note to everyone out there, they just don't like that. Team points for him, five rebounds, seven blocks in the game for Wahab. And here's a one-possession game. Georgetown gets the steal. The jumper is up and in. Javon Blair knocks down a huge shot. Alexander for Champagny, who drives up high, partially blocked. The follow is right there. Attempts. So Georgetown is now out of timeouts, and they retain possession. Here's Pickett. Gives it off to Blair. He'll step back for a long three and knock it down. Nothing but net from Javon Blair. 
on that shot clock. So it's not. We're tied at 86 with 26 and 7 10 seconds to play. And gets it to Carey, who saves it. Carey going to the hoop, lays it up, and in! With six and a half seconds to play. Back the other way. Shot blocked. And Georgetown cannot come up with it, but only two tenths of a second remain. There's the inbounds, the put up, oh. and scores! And that will count. What a play. Terrific inbound play. It's got to be flat. It's not a corner. It's got to stay on the baseline. Oh. That is just, to me, a, a, that's a breakdown defensively. That Williams drives. The floater is up and in. On to him in the paint quite as much. They got Harris open for the jumper, and the freshman just missed it. Wahab is there for a big-time follow. Not many as you and I, but he's been around. <laughs> nice to have that on the floor late for Patrick Ewing. I, I like that play. I, I, I think I always say... Yeah. Misses that one. Rebound to St. John's. Blocked by Wahab. Wow, Kudus Wahab. Seconds to go. It's, it's got to be the play of the game. He's got a couple of them already. Wow. Without fouling is the key. Missed in this game. And there's the first one. He's now seven of eight in the foul line, I believe. Well, now he hits to make it a three point game with two seconds to play. Williams. Puts it up, it will not count, and that is the end of the game. Georgetown hangs on for a 97-94 win to improve to 3-3 three three overall.